12. He said in the end all the computers in the world can't create the most important thing in the world, an emotional connection with the audience. Well, these films used a lot of CGI, but there were less action and effects centered scenes as compared to dialogue scenes than in the original trilogy. As you pointed out, it is a deep character study. It just isn't formulaic or general audiences pandering, meaning it clearly isn't just made to make money and your arguments cancel themselves out. 13. Lastly, the idea that these films were made by Lucas to make money has to be committed on some more. The reason would be because they are bad. Yes, failure always comes from lack of trying, because they clearly pander to audiences even though they don't follow a mainstream formula, and contain politics in many dialogue scenes, because they contain a lot of stuff that can be made into toys. Well, it's a rich fantasy world. This can also be said for Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings, because they merge many different tones. Well, some films merge genre, genres, it adds to the complexity, and these films are supposed to show an innocent kid become an evil adult. And again, Harry Potter, and because Lucas didn't work hard on them. Even though he wanted complete creative control and wrote and directed them himself, if he just wanted money, why didn't he do that? What Warner Brothers did on Batman and Robin, hire directors and writers to have them do the work, and just have them make it kid-friendly and a lot of product placement, and why put in all the politics and serious adult characters and stuff like celebrity, and also Lucas often relies on merchandise sales as he always wanted to make very ambitious films with innovative effects which cost a lot of money, yet he, unlike people like Peter Jackson or Steven Spielberg, want to be an independent filmmaker, meaning he funds his expensive films himself, and people say he can just rely on the profit of his films, but then he, as artists do, couldn't take risks as one failure, and he... Now, in fact, Francis Ford Coppola, who wanted to be independent, didn't rely on merchandise sales, and though he made The Godfathers Part 1 and 2, The Conversation of Apocalypse Now, after the failure of one ambitious film, one from the heart, he was in debt bankrupt, had to sell a studio and make mainstream Hollywood films like Peggy Sue Got Married, and had to make a sequel he didn't want to to The Godfather, make an awful third film that ruined the trilogy, just not to have to go to court anymore. So Lucas relying on merchandise can simply mean he doesn't want to go bankrupt and stay independent from the system, and wanting to be an independent filmmaker with all the risks involved, and only using your company for your own films becomes the system to freely tell your own stories, sounds like someone who is an artist first, not a businessman. And the attempts to make him both a bad artist and businessman, and not even human, show a very immature desire to hate on someone who simply made films that disappointed you. It is mean-spirited and self-contradicting. Oh, and by the way, your assumptions Vader's red lightsaber was unique is just that, an assumption. There were going to be more people on the dark side, and unless Yoda was wrong and the dark side is stronger, that would mean they would need to use lightsabers, and they probably wouldn't want blue or green ones.